Sean Sirkin, a music executive, is about to finalize buying his first home. 31 years old, he is one of a generation of young Americans whose dream of home ownership has gotten help from unexpected quarters. The outgoing Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke and his quantitative easing stimulus program that kept interest rates on home loans at historic lows. Back in May, the Fed hinted at ending the stimulus and rates started rising. Sean thought he was out of luck. The interest rates actually went up for a while. That was a little bit scary and a little bit, you know, kind of de dejecting and thinking like, oh, I kind of missed the boat. Matt Laracy, a leading real estate agent in Chicago, says that's exactly how many other first-time buyers felt as well. If they weren't looking to buy anymore. Uh, the rise in the interest rate uh, bumped them out of being able to buy in the price range that they wanted. Those people fell off. That was until September, when the Fed said it would continue supporting the housing market with its $85 billion a month bond buying program, at least for now. The Fed's housing stimulus have brought interest rates on 30-year mortgages to an all-time low last year of 3.3 percent. The rates are higher now as the housing recovery continues and the Fed is expected to scale down its bond purchases. But interest rates remain historically low. Mortgage rates have averaged 6.7 percent since 1990 and 8.6 percent over the past 40 years. Alaris believes that's the perspective this generation of first-time buyers simply lacks. Anybody that's under the age of like 30, they've only seen like under four, you know, for the last year. So they think that's standard, but it's, it's not. Sean agrees. Thankful he is now able to finally close the deal. I don't think I'd be able to afford a house or a building, um, especially this size. If it was six, seven, eight percent, you know, interest rate, I still think we're we're very lucky. Lucky for now. Some real estate experts predict rates will go back up to pre-crisis levels in six to twelve months. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.